guys, today I am going to be teaching you how to sleep again. Well, no, actually this episode I won't be teaching you how to sleep. I'm going to be teaching you how to not sleep during the day where you will probably want to sleep if you suffer from insomnia. So a common myth is that coffee makes you stronger, as in it lets you not sleep during the day. I mean, it's not a myth because, you know, if you don't suffer from chronic insomnia or something like that, then yeah, coffee gives you a really big boost and you're like mega energetic during the day and, and you've got energy for everything. What I just said, I just don't know. My point is that yeah, that is true, obviously, but when you suffer from chronic dis chronic insomnia, oh Jesus, what the hell? But when you suffer from chronic insomnia, Coffee will not help you at all, trust me. I mean, maybe if you drank gallons of coffee, like whole bathtubs of coffee, yeah, maybe that would help you. But if you sleep like one hour per day or, I don't know, four hours per week, no matter how much coffee you drink, it won't give you a boost up. It won't make you unsleepy during the day. I mean, it will be very good at keeping you up at night again, but it won't really give you a boost up during the day. These are something I found out on myself. Um, well, with chronic insomnia, while well, drinking coffee doesn't really help me. Although you can try drinking coffee to function better during the day, if you suffer from chronic insomnia, that's the worst part of insomnia, I doubt that will really help you too much. So now that we kind of put coffee out, there's a thing that actually gives you kind of an energetic boost and that is chocolate and basically cocoa things. Uh, I guess we'll give you the same kind of boost of it coffee would, except for the fact that if you drink too much coffee it will be a bit unhealthy for you and if you eat too much chocolate then unless you're diabetic it won't really murder you. So I suggest chocolate. I've been living only off of chocolate for the past eight years or something. Okay, I've eaten other things, but I mostly eat chocolate. Yes, I know I'm skinny as hell. I know I look like I'm anorexic, but I'm not. Trust me. <laughs> also, I eat way too many chocolate. Too much chocolate. What the fuck am I even saying today? I eat way too much chocolate. So, um, if you have high metabolism like me, you look like a skeleton, or no matter what you eat, then, uh, Chocolate, lots of chocolate. That will help you. That will make you happy. It will help you function through the day. Chocolate. Try to keep yourself occupied most of the time because when your brain is working and when you're doing something, it will. There's a higher chance of you not falling asleep than if you were to sit on the couch and do nothing, for instance. That that will definitely make you fall asleep. So no matter what you do, just try to keep your mind and thoughts occupied so that you know. You're constantly doing something. I know you probably are tired if you suffer from chronic insomnia or any type of insomnia or sleeping disorder for that matter. But that's always a good option. I mean, you know, there are no real ways to be always un asleep during the day. But I'm just trying to give you guys a boost and just trying to, you know, help you out there without taking any medication because of, of maybe there are some pills that will make you not be sleepy during the day I honestly don't know but in my opinion if you don't have to take meds don't take them so I'm just trying to give you something here talking to people is always a good thing to do uh, and I don't mean like let's go talk about our problems I mean like if there are people in your certain vicinity, just go up and talk to someone because when you're talking to someone, that person can also kind of, you know, help you not fall asleep. Uh, obviously, the things that I'm kind of putting out there right now are things that you won't do during class or during work. That's going to be very soon. But talking to people on a regular day or anything, just, you know, making sure that they help you not to fall asleep is a, it's a really good chance of not falling asleep so you can always try doing that. Obviously avoid everything that is boring to you because if something bores you then there's a higher chance you will want to fall asleep for instance if you had a really rough night because even when we have insomnia we do sleep it's not like we're freaking walking vampires we do actually get some sleep Mm, so if you had a rougher night, let's say you haven't slept uh, for 24 or 48 hours or something like that, like at all, 
then you know that you will be pretty roughed up and if you've got a very very boring book to read to school or something just maybe don't do it that day because that will put you to sleep pretty easily and that is what we don't want now isn't it force yourself to draw stuff or write stuff uh, yeah it's something like I said before you know to keep yourself occupied but when you feel that you're actually on the verge of falling asleep that is the moment when you have to try really hard to do something and when you're you know working physically writing or just doing something with your hands there's a smaller risk of actually falling asleep so just just try to do something manual in a way also try not to feel sleepy i know <laughs> this sounds kind of stupid especially now that i've said it out loud but Try not to tell yourself, oh my god, I'm so sleepy, I'm just gonna... Because then you will definitely snooze off. Just try to, you know, force your mind to think that you are not falling asleep, you are hyperactive, and you will do some real bad shit today. Even if you won't, you're at least gonna try. Obviously forcing your eyes to stay open is a good thing here as well, but I don't really know how we got to do that, just got to figure that one out by itself. Eat and drink. Water. Juices. Anything. My point is that if you uh, give your body nutrition, your body gets more energetic and, you know, it's just good for you also. My point is here that eating basically anything when you're feeling very tired will get your bodily functions working and you won't feel that tired anymore. I mean, you probably might still feel tired, probably will, but you're gonna feel just a cheesy weasy bit less tired, which is a good thing and which is what we're going for, right? Okay, thank you guys, I think that that is all for today. I think I might make like a second part of this video if anyone would like more intelligent or helpful tips. Uh, but that is all for today. I'm going to make myself some hot cocoa and be very glad about it. So I hope to see you next time. Like, comment something cool, and subscribe to my potato face. This time I'm a bit red, not that black. Okay, I'm gonna go now before I bore you guys to sleep with my nonsense talk. Mwah.